Today we are doing a circa 2010 rewind of the old school YouTube classic, the what's in your bag video. But today it's going to be the figure skating edition. Hello friends of internet. In my last figure skating video, I asked all of you guys to leave a comment down below on what videos you would like to see. And one of the suggestions that I kept getting was a what's in your figure skating bag video. Shout out to Naomi Garcia 3616 for that comment. And just a reminder before you jump right in, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what other videos you would all like to see your next idea may just be the next video that i make and with that let's dive into the black hole of a crapshoot that is my figure skating bag so this is what my figure skating bag looks like i've been getting a lot of questions on what type of bag you should use to carry to figure skating practice it really depends on personal preference i know a lot of people like duffel bags or wider bags because they fit a lot of shit for me my issue with duffel bags is it doesn't evenly distribute the weight on my shoulders and i already have perpetual back and hip problems from skating and being old you may also see at the rink really intense little girls with their freaking suitcases that their mother is carrying for them for me because i bike to skating practice and i usually walk back I prefer a backpack so something super compact helpful when I'm walking home to have something that is evenly distributed behind my back and this backpack that I'm currently using is actually an old backpack from work and it is just a regular black Patagonia backpack and I will link or put right here in text what the exact model of this is I feel like your skates are quite bulky kind of this way so to stack them on top of each other and have room for other shit you kind of want to have a backpack that has like a good amount of depth first things first shocker i have my skates because without these how the hell am i gonna go skating actually recently got new skates after my last season ended because my last pair of skates i've been using for like four years and i seriously thought i was gonna break an ankle by the end of my last season switching your boots and your blades is actually a very stressful process like skating is so technical and so specific that any little thing can throw you off and a lot of times when you get new boots it's a lot more stiff you have to break in to it it has to take time to mold to the shape of your feet some parts of your feet will hurt there's like so many problems the new skates that i got are the adeas ice fly skates i personally like adeas because they're easy to break into that adjustment period i was talking about doesn't take as long black things that i have you're probably wondering like what the hell are these things it looks super weird and if i take it off it will look arguably weirder they're called soakers after you dry off your blades after skating put them in something called a soaker meant for soaking up the moistures from your blade so your blades don't rust and have problems in the future. Usually until the next time I skate, I always protect my blades by putting this baby on and over and usually that's how my skates sit at home. Next thing I have are these things called guards and they're kind of funny, they're kind of wobbly, you're like, what the hell is this? I used to actually not use guards at all. Guards are essentially made for walking around in your skate. As you know, you can't put your blades on just like any sort of ground or surface, which is why when you go to most rinks, you will see that there are areas that have that rubbery texture on the floor, and that is the material that skates can step on. However, it's still not recommended to step around in your blades because there might be other stuff on the floor free chemicals etc that might actually fuck up your blades so you want to be careful about that these are the adeo ones and these are definitely my favorite guards by far i think they're the most comfortable and they're also the only model of guards out there that i think technically not advise that you try this but technically can also allow you to walk on the ice with them on if you want i would not recommend stepping on the ice with any sort of guards because i'm telling you that type of eating shit is a whole nother level of eating shit like i've definitely done that once or twice in my skating career and it was the most painful awful fall you'll ever have one caveat though these adeo ones are a little bit more expensive and they're kind of an investment there's a lot of cheap ones that you can definitely get from amazon that will do the job just as fine next thing in my bag is a towel this is just a microfiber cloth for drying off your blades highly recommend having kind of some sort of soft towel that can help soak up all the wet ice out of your blade if you don't keep your blades dry they will rust and be unusable so 100 
definitely have a towel. The next thing I have in my bag is a knee pad. And you're like, what the hell? Why do you have a knee pad? If you ever done knee slides before on the ice, they are so awfully painful. Like you will end up with a completely bruised knee. I've tried doing knee slides before on my bare knees and they would just like hurt so terribly bad. And my knees would just look black all the time and I'm walking around, especially in the summer and people are like, what the hell happened to you? I actually just had this on hand, but it's just like a Mizuno knee pad from my volleyball days. Yes, I used to play volleyball competitively. That was like my whole past life before I started figure skating. This has been such a lifesaver. Of course, in competitions, I'm still gonna be doing any sort of knee slides or lunges and whatnot on my bare knees. But at least for practice, I don't have to keep abusing my knees over and over. So super helpful. The next thing I have is a pair of removable sweats. And let me show you what I mean. These are the Aloe Yoga like tear apart sweats that has like the buttons going down the side. And you can kind of just like open up your pants. Okay, that sounded like completely not like what I was trying to convey. If you are wearing like leggings underneath or a dress underneath for extra warmth you can put these sweats on even with your skates put on you can tear these apart and kind of get out of the pants super easily that was a really weird way of explaining it, it is so helpful in the winter because i'm someone who gets cold very very easily and sometimes when i'm just wearing a thin pair of leggings or tight actually quite cold so i prefer warming up in a pair of sweats that's easy to take off regardless of whether or not i have my skates on probably find a cheaper pair of similar tear apart pants on amazon i did get these from al yoga on sale like last black friday so definitely if they still have that going on check that out because it is a holiday shopping season so maybe there'll be a discount i have also something called a neck gaiter and i never knew what this was until i went on this like one backpacking trip but essentially it's just a really functional scarf it looks like an affinity scarf but if you ski or snowboard you probably already know what this is but the inside is lined with fleece and it just literally looks like a freaking tube it is so functional and keeps your neck warm next thing i have is actually a beanie i just have this random beanie that i actually got from lake placid last year as a souvenir after one of my competitions because i bike to the rink every morning it is cold as shit you don't realize how much heat you lose from the extremities of your body so like your hands your feet and your head and your ears so having them covered really helps me stay warm then i have figure skating socks figure skating socks are actually very different than normal socks for star skating i didn't know this so if you're also a beginner i would highly pay attention to this part because skating socks are meant to be super super thin almost like tights like sheer tights type of thing because the whole point is you want to be able to feel the bottom of your skates as much as possible especially if you're doing stuff like spinning you want to be able to feel what part of your feet you are on your blade on that pretty much covers up the big part of my uh, backpack but then there's this kind of like small pocket right here tissues tissues are so important when you're skating because just for some reason whenever you get cold and you're skating and the wind is whipping around in your face your nose just starts running like it's goddamn Niagara Fall. I'm, I'm telling you, you think skating is all pretty? Skating is a gross countless time when I'm running my program or doing my whole routine and in the middle, you just feel like snot dripping down your face and you're just like, God, kill me now. This is why skaters always carry tissues. I have a hand sanitizer because again, like what I said, people will be blowing their nose all the time and it is flu season and I already gotten sick like, for a straight whole month of October and I am just absolutely done with it. And also, rinks are filled with little kids and little kids are filled with germs. Next thing I have is hand cream. My hands get so freaking chapped in the winter and especially when you're in a rink, the air is cold, the air is dry and your skin is just like crackling. This next thing is the ultimate rink essential, a freaking dongle. It's basically a converter. Most rinks that you will skate at 
9 out of 10 have a super outdated audio system. If you want to play music over the loudspeaker or play your competition music, there is no way that you can play your music without some sort of connector because you cannot play anything from your phone. If you can, stick a freaking label or flag or write your name on this shit. If you put one out there, it will get stolen. I swear to God, I have cycled over like 20 of these because they just consistently get stolen. How can I forget my AirPods? I can't go anywhere without my AirPods and AirPods are honestly the best invention to mankind. I honestly don't know how people warmed up in sports prior to these babies. Then we have some chapstick because why not? Then I have gloves. Gloves are so important in skating. Back to the whole extremities things. If your hands are cold, you will get cold so much faster. And I actually have a lip tint and this is just a lip tint that I got from Korea. I skate at like 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. I look like death and in the morning my lips literally look pale. Like I look like a ghost. Well, occasionally I would put some of this on to make me feel like I am more alive than I actually feel. And last but not least, I found some hair ties because you always have hair ties and my hair ties are always everywhere and I can never find them but apparently there were two in the depths of my figure seating bag. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed this video. And if so, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, it will mean the world to me. And leave a comment down below on what you would like to see from me next. With that, wish everyone a wonderful upcoming Thanksgiving. Actually, I should not promise that because I don't know when I'm going to edit and upload this video. Okay, I just really need to stop rambling. I don't know why I'm talking so much today. All right, Till next time. Bye guys.